Tonight, Arizona is saying goodbye to a pair of extraordinary leaders. Former Governor Jane D. Hall and her husband, Dr. Terry Hall, have died. Close family members tell us that the two passed away just hours apart. Tonight, Team 12's Bram Resnick has details on their lasting legacy. Jane D. Hall was a Goldwater Republican from the Midwest. Her first home in Arizona was on the Navajo Nation, and from there, she blazed a trail for all Arizona women. It was history in the making. And the Constitution and laws of the state of Arizona that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. Jane D. Hull, sworn in by Justice Sandra Day O'Connor as the first woman elected as Arizona's governor. Hull was one of the so-called Fab Five, five women who won Arizona's top statewide offices in 1998. Jane Hull's journey to the Arizona governor's office started on the Navajo Nation. She and her physician husband, Terry Hull, moved there from Kansas in the early 1960s. Terry Hull treated the native community. Jane Hull was a teacher and cared for their young children. Hull said she became a Goldwater Republican in college after hearing the Arizona senator speak. In the late 70s, she won a seat in the legislature from a Phoenix district, rose to become the first female speaker of the House, then was elected as Secretary of State, next in line to the governor. When Fife Symington quit in 1997 after a felony conviction, Hull was elevated to the governor's office. I believe that if you can't say it in five minutes, it probably isn't worth saying. She was a no-nonsense governor who left an enduring legacy. Health insurance for low-income children, a sales tax to fund Arizona schools, and she also struck a deal to bring casino gaming to Arizona's tribes. Jane Hull had no problem leaving politics behind. You know, the spotlight was something that I think a lot of people enjoyed more than I did. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.